if you want to start making music or you're a music producer that want to make this as a living, these are some things that you must know. Yo, what's up guys, welcome to a new video, my name is Wacro and today I'm gonna tell you things that you must know before starting in the music scene. Basically things that they wanted to know when I started or things that I realized during all this time. So let's start with this, but don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for the algorithm, you know, and help me and all these things. The first thing you must know is that you need a lot of discipline and patience. Don't expect making two songs, releasing them in really big labels and then next year being the Tomorrowland because it's not gonna happen. All the big artists have been a lot of years working so hard to be in the biggest labels, to be in the biggest festivals and all of this. Nobody does it in one year. Well, Martin Garrix did it but I think nobody else. People say that you need between 1500 songs to have a good quality, so don't expect that your song number 5 is gonna be in the biggest label ever and next year you're gonna be at Tomorrowland and supported by all the top DJs. The thing number 2 is that you need to learn music theory. Of course, you don't need to be a musician that knows how to play piano perfectly or guitar or other instruments and instantly hear something and know what key is that song and what chords are using. No, you don't need this, but you need at least a bit of knowledge of music theory. The more you know, the easier it's gonna be to make music, so learn at least what is a key, what kind of keys are, what is a relative minor or a relative major, how to create chords, what are inversions, these kind of things, the basic ones. The thing number three is that this is a business and you need to be a brand. It's so beautiful to think that you're gonna make music just because of the art of making music and just with this gonna be enough. It's not like this. Music is a business and if you want to live from your music, you need to treat this as a business. If a label releases your song, it's because they can make money with your song and if a club hires you to play there, it's because they can sell all the tickets if you play there. So think about this and think about your music and you as a product that you need to sell. The more you can sell, the better it's gonna be. So for this reason, you need good socials because with good socials, more people is gonna start to follow you. The more people that follows you, the bigger fan base you're gonna have. The bigger fan base you have, the better because more labels are gonna release your music because you're gonna have a lot of people listening to it so they're gonna make some money. And also a lot more festivals and clubs are gonna contact you to play there because you have a lot of fans that will probably go so they're gonna sell a lot more tickets. So basically don't think that this is only about art and nothing else because no, this is about money. The thing number four is that you need to spend less money. Wycro, what do you mean about this? Especially when you're starting, probably you don't have a lot of money. So every little cent that you can save can be reinvested in your brand. So for example, you go out every single weekend, Fridays and Saturdays, you go to clubs, you spend a lot of money there, drinking alcohol, going out, or you spend a lot of money in really good clothes, really good shoes, or traveling a lot. Try to save a bit of that money. Maybe instead of going every Friday and every Saturday to the club, just go on Saturdays and spend less money in alcohol. Also, you're gonna be a lot healthier. This way, they're gonna happen two things. The first one is that you're gonna have a lot more time to work on music. Because if you don't go out on Fridays, you can work on Friday and also on Saturday morning because you're not gonna have hangover. But also, the second thing is that you're gonna save a lot more money. So you can reinvest that money in promotion for your brand, in paying vocals, in getting gear, in getting plugins, in getting samples or presets. Because again, this is a business and you need to treat yourself and your music as a brand. If you don't invest in your brand, you're not gonna get anywhere. So if you prefer to go out and spend all your money in just getting drunk, do it. But you're gonna lose time to work on your business and money to invest in your business. Of course, I'm not saying that you should never go out and never see your friends and never travel and never buy clothes and all of this. No, but try to save a bit of that money. The thing number five and is related to the previous ones is that you need to make money. If you want to live out of something, you need to make money with that thing. So if you want to live from your music, you need to make money with your music. How can you make money? There are a lot of ways to make money of, out of music. I made a video where I tell you all the income sources they have and how much money made last year with all of them. So maybe that video can help you a little bit. So if you want to go and watch it, but after this one, don't skip this one now. Okay, wait a little bit. This way, as a previous tip, if you make money, you can reinvest a lot more money in your business. And the more money you invest in your business, probably the better it's gonna go. I think number six is that you need to let your ego die. Don't be that stupid person that just because released once in a good label is like, oh, Look at me, I'm super good, you're super bad, you're down there, I'm up here. No, don't be that person because in the end you're not gonna get anywhere. If I contact you because I have a really good idea and you are like, no, you're too small for me, I don't care about you, I don't care about your idea or things like this, you know, you go with this ego. Okay, I'm not gonna contact you again, but also maybe some producers that are your level or even beer producers, I'm not gonna want to call up with you because you are like this. So you always need to be humble. If somebody is smaller than you, doesn't mean that it's bad. They can have bad ideas that you will ever make. But also you need to think different. You need to think that the more people you work together, the higher you're gonna get. But if you have a really big ego, probably you're not gonna have a lot of friends in the scene. So always stay humble. And last but not least, the thing number seven that is related to the first one, 
never give up up. You need to be so patient, you are always one song from your first hit. You never know, maybe you make a hundred songs, you release a hundred songs that didn't work and the hundred one maybe gets super big. For example, Don Diablo started in the 90s making music and we can say that until five, six years ago he didn't really blow up. Now he is one of the biggest DJs in the world, but it took him maybe, what, 15, 20 years? So during all this time you need to do the thing that I said in the tips number three, four and five and is that you need to treat the, this as a business, you need to make money, so it's way you can stay all this time and if one day you start releasing hit after hit then you're gonna grow a lot and you're gonna be one of the biggest DJs but if just because the first year you stop making music because you didn't achieve anything then of course you're not gonna get anything for example right now I'm living out of this but it took me a lot of years I didn't start last year making music I didn't start last year with my YouTube channel no I've been four years with my YouTube channel and I've been making music like six seven eight years so it took me a while to be here and make money with it but in the end I'm doing it my idea is to keep doing this until I really make it in the scene and I really grow and I really get a lot of support. But the only thing I know is that I'm not gonna give up. So well guys that's it, I hope these tips help you to understand more what is the music scene before you start making music and what things you're gonna need to do or understand to try to live from this. So if it help you it would be awesome a like and a subscribe, also maybe put down below in the comments all the things you would love to know when you start making music. And as always thank you so much to all of these guys right here that are the members of my Patreon membership if you want to be here down below in the description you have the link to my patreon and i have a video on my youtube channel where i explain everything but nothing else guys thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video